What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. On today's video, it's the revelation of clutch number two. So I hope you kick back and listen in and enjoy the video. I'm super excited to share with you the results of clutch number two. It was between a pastel super Enchi desert ghost head hypo crossed with a hypo cinnamon head genetic stripe. So we should hit some hypos here and they will all be 100% head desert ghost and 50% possible head genetic stripe, which of course I'll be testing with rare genetics Inc RGI. So let's take a look at these babies. So first up we have a pastel Enchi. All these babies are gonna have Enchi since the dad was super Enchi. 100% Het Desert Ghost and 50% Possible Het Genetic Stripe. Now I was wondering, can there possibly be ghosts in some of these babies? But you can really tell which ones have the hypo and which ones don't. So Pastel Enchi. Het, double Het for Hypo and DG, 50% Possible Het Genetic Stripe. Here goes another Pastel Enchi. Now this is one I'm wondering, I think this one's gonna be Hypo. Look at how light that head is. So I believe Pastel Enchi Hypo, head for Desert Ghost, and 50% possible head for Genetic Stripe. So really cool, we could have some triple bangers here. And of course, RGI is gonna help me out with that. Man, these are gorgeous. Honestly, you know, I've I've been a hoarder. Excuse my turtle's gonna start blooping at me right now, even though I just fed her, so. But I've been a hoarder of all my babies and I've gotta let some of these babies go. And you know, this is one I'll have to make a decision on at some point. Here goes another pastel Enchi. I believe this one's also gonna be hypo. Man, I don't know, that first one, there's not much difference between that first one and these. So this could possibly not be hypo. We'll wait, of course, till they shed out. That could tell a different story, but the really extreme blushing, that really faded head would tell me that this might be hypo. We'll see when, once it sheds. Here we got a Cinnamon Enchi, Double Het Hypo Desert Ghost, 50% Possible Het Genetic Stripe. When this one came out, I was like, is this Hypo? But with the next two I'm gonna show with you, it's gonna show the difference between Hypo and not Hypo, so this one's definitely not Hypo. Still extremely beautiful. Cinnamon Enchi are an allelic combination. So when this snake breeds someday, I'm not sure whether it's a boy or girl yet, I'm gonna wait till they shed to, to sex them out it will pass on either Enchi or Cinnamon to its babies. So that's the power of having an allelic combo. But look at how beautifully orange the sides are. That Cinnamon black back with all that blushing going on. This is a gorgeous snake right here. Beautiful. Now let me show you Hypo on top of this. So this right here is the Cinnamon Enchi Hypo, Het Desert Ghost, 50% possible Het Genetic Stripe. I'm hoping this one proves out Genetic Stripe, even if it doesn't, and I'm probably gonna keep it anyway. This thing is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure the iPhone camera is gonna screw this up, but this is super orange on the side right here, and the blushing on it is crazy. I'm looking through my camera right here and it's not doing it justice at all. This is a snake that tells me that, you know, there's so much to do with ball pythons. If a simple combo like this looks this incredible, man, when I add calico to this, you add banana to this, you add cypress to this, it's just gonna take it to a, an all new level. But yeah, camera's not doing this justice at all. So we can see how like faded and the head is, that's an indicator of hypo. And it really like frosts the black on the animal. 
So definitely a Sinianchi Hypo on this one at DG. 50% possible head G stripe. Now let's take a look at another one that I also believe is the same thing. Here goes another Sinianchi Hypo. I believe this one has a little bit more intensity as far as the, the oranges is, but the black back seems to be disrupted. I bet you this one is gonna prove out to be head genetic stripe and the other one will be a non-genetic stripe because cinnies are natural blackbacks. And with a G-stripe influence, I believe it's disrupting that back pattern. Beautiful animal. I believe this one is the all gener. This one adds pastel on top of the cinnamon and enchi. Extreme blushing going on. I believe this is hypo also. Now, what do you think? Should does pastel add more to this, or is the the cine enchi hypo a more beautiful animal? I mean, I I don't have pastel yet in this project, so maybe keeping on hold of one of these. I'm gonna show you one more that's, I believe is also the same thing. Maybe I should keep one of these that has pastel in it. Even though I know a lot of people are trying to get pastel out of their collection, but I don't mind, it's, it's got Desert Ghost in it, so that'll help it out. Let's take a look at the last snake of this clutch. Now this right here, you know what? I thought this might be the Algena as well, but Maybe this is the Pastel and Hypo. And those first three that I showed you maybe is not Hypo. Or do you think there's Cine in this one as well? This is my first time really getting a look at them. And you know, I, I, this one looks like it might just be the Pastel and Hypo. I thought it might have Cine as well, but compared to that one we just looked at, this one might not have Cine. Hmm. So when they shed out next week, I'll share the results with you. I've got like back-to-back -back clutches I'll be cutting this within the next week. So I've got a lot to share with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great week, everybody. Take care and be safe.